Welcome back to Radical Connections TV. Jesse and Adina Kaufman here. Hi. Our topic for today is what's the title? So God's will versus action in relationships. Common concern we get is uh, waiting waiting on God and the frustrations attached to that because in the Christian world so often waiting on God doesn't involve faith in action mm -hmm. and or they don't know what kind of action they should be taking. Yeah. What's a what's a girl to do? You know, if it's up to the guys to ask them out. Right. Of course, in today's culture, there's there's uh, uh, large swaths of people that would believe that the girls can ask the guys out too. But mm -hmm. deep down, we've found that all girls really secretly do desire for the guy to be the pursuer and to ask her out. That's right. And if she sets the precedent for taking initiative. It kind of sets the tone for the relationship moving forward. So there's some things about that to consider. But so what do you do? You know, do you, do you just go out and you you know find that person, or you know just take action, ask ask people out, and go a bunch of dates? And well, is that trusting God? Hmm. Or do you just wait until God suddenly says, "Behold, here she is," or "Here he is"? <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't work for me. I mean, I was 40 years old, a bachelor, mm -hmm. waiting on God. Until I discovered that God was waiting on me. What was he waiting on me for? Um, to go pick one. Make a choice. Mm -hmm. And uh, choose to commit and love a girl. To the point where she feels safe and secure with me. And, our, and of course there's other things. You know, missions and alignment. Mm -hmm. that's, that's very important. Your mission, your life, overarching life mission is in alignment. Yeah. And that you're equally yoked in your, even your careers. And your the big uh, the interests that we both have, mm -hmm. you know, are reasonably in alignment. So anyhow, yeah. So you know, this thought came to mind as you were talking about how God brings partners to us, parading people in front of us to pick and choose from. And guess what? We have a free will, right? We have a free will. You can say no. And so do you remember the story when Isaac was ready to have a wife? What happened in that story? So in the Bible, uh, Abraham sent his servant, was it Eli Eliezer, mm -hmm. out to find a wife for his son, Isaac. Yeah. And if you're not familiar with the story, then uh, go read it. Mm -hmm. It's in the Old Testament, the Bible. Mm -hmm. And um, so the servant went to pick somebody and he asked God to help him pick. And he said, the first girl that comes up to the uh, the well water and he asks her for a drink and she offers to also mm -hmm. draw water for all of his camels. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Yeah. And so... Did God tell him that, or did he say that's going to be the one? No, he God just honored his request. Yeah. And so what if you ask God for a sign, and then nothing happens? Mm -hmm. Or you get a sign, mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, this is the one. Yes. And then that other person goes and off with somebody else, and they marry somebody else. I'm like, wait, did mm -hmm. I hear? You start, suddenly start out, did I hear God correctly? Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe not. Not so fast, because you have to recognize the other person has a free will. Yeah. They hear God too. Yeah. And it, it's, yes, we all do want, want to believe that we hear from God. Mm -hmm. And yet we see through a glass darkly, like the Bible says. We we yeah. only see in part. We don't see the full picture. Mm -hmm. We also don't recognize what God is developing in us and the mm -hmm. spiritual warfare that's going on in the background that's trying to thwart your breakthrough and, and prevent you from getting married. Because marriage is a commandment by God in the original mm -hmm. uh manuscripts or the, in the genesis account be fruitful multiply replenish the earth and proverbs he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor of the lord yeah marriage is honorable uh and the bed undefiled and there's i'm paraphrasing and shotgunning a lot of verses here but marriage is highly praised in the bible yeah and the only case we can think of where it, you know people like to use as a, an escape goat for staying single is where it talks <laughs> about eunuchs and which by the way uh, that does not mean what a lot of people think it means. Uh, it has to, there's also free will of man involved in there mm -hmm. in becoming eunuchs and or physical uh, incapacitation involved where a person is, is like 
unable to. No, no different from uh, having a missing arm or leg type of deal going mm -hmm. on here. Mm -hmm. And um, so, then also Paul, the Apostle Paul, which we believe was married at one time, if not altogether. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been allowed into Jewish leadership. So yeah. uh, otherwise, the Bible is very strongly in favor of marriage. That being said, go for it. Yeah, so I want to get back to the the root question that was asked of us is that you know what where can i stay in god's will and where can i take action so both of us had experiences where where we felt like god told us that that's the right person for us and neither of those relationships worked out or even went into a relationship because every one of us have our own will we're all on the journey we're all growing. Our character is developing. One person might say, okay, I'm there. The other person is not there. So they might not choose you to be their spouse. The other thing is you are learning tools, which we talk about forming, right? Asking questions that will get people to connect and talk in the, the regards of family occupation, recreation, message that's the form spelled out and other things as well so as women are we allowed to have friends in opposite gender is it okay to honor another person who's an opposite gender and get to know them without expectations of a relationship that would be my take on that as that if someone feels like God said that that's your spouse, did you get to know them? Or do you freeze because, oh my gosh, now it's my spouse. I'm so afraid to even talk to them. And maybe you show a cold, give them a cold shoulder in a way because it is so frightening to talk to that person. What if I spoil it? What if I make it uh, like too much I made, took that action and now this person thinks well she didn't wait for me to approach her or well, maybe that person will be celebrating that you actually desire to have friendship and get to know that person there's also the thing of, of you yourself not being ready and the other person is yeah and mm -hmm. us not being ready to receive the breakthrough we've been believing for again is attached to our choices mm -hmm. you know the things that we have given permission to come into our life to distract us yes, and to take our focus off of what we really want in life yes, and maybe spending all our time playing video games or watching TV instead of reading that book and going out and getting to know that person mm -hmm. and developing yourself and preparing yes. uh, proactively. And so there's some of you listening that you're like, I've done all that. I am doing, I'm like doing everything. Where is he or she? Be patient. Yes. And that leads me to the final thing. Yes. Final thing of how to deal with disappointment. Yeah. That's the best good. way to deal with disappointment is to take massive action mm -hmm. and to 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 be moving forward and progressing and growing. Mm -hmm. That produces hope in your life. When you are growing and stretching yourself and stepping out yeah. and taking action on, on the things that are related specifically to mm -hmm. that which you want to receive. Mm -hmm. It produces hope in your life. Yes. So now again, I want to be make sure that I emphasize focused action. Again, if you're single and you want to be married and you're pursuing personal growth and development mm -hmm. in a general sense of the term, that's yeah. great. Yeah. However, you have to recognize that's part of the process. That's not the goal itself. Right. And if your personal growth and development doesn't involve specifically relationships, it's a shotgun. Mm -hmm. You may hit it and you may not. Yeah. You'll become a better person. Absolutely. But you want to be specifically investing into yourself. Mm -hmm. with time and resources whatever that looks like for you in relationships specifically mm -hmm. hang out with families ask questions read the books of relationship experts and then don't just learn go out and apply it mm -hmm. make friends practice making friends practice yes. asking questions to get to know a person perfect stranger get comfortable being uncomfortable and getting and giving a compliment to that stranger and mm -hmm. asking them a few questions 
you know, surface level to start with about their family, their occupation, their recreation. Yeah. What is the, what is, the, what are their strengths, interests, goals, and needs? Mm -hmm. And put yourself out there and practice and exercise yeah. that. And it'll broaden your capacity and horizons mm -hmm. of, of coming upon that person or being available. Yeah. If you want to get married, then you have to put yourself out there. First of all, you have to be willing to put your picture on your profiles, Facebook. If you just have a flower or, or uh, a selfie with you hiding behind your phone, guess mm -hmm. what? Or half of your face. Or half of your face. Or a 10 years old picture. Right. I mean, again, as we have all sorts of excuses over, well, I don't want to put myself out there. And, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the scammers and hackers and profile stealers. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Get, get, get over your fears and recognize that to get married. Mm -hmm. You have to be willing to take some level of risk yeah. putting yourself out there. Without any risk, there's no reward, period. Yeah. So if it's all about protecting you, yourself, and me, myself, and I, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's a recipe for just staying safe yes. and nothing ever happening in your life. Yes. So you have to be willing to take a risk, mm -hmm. risk having that trust broken. Because again, uh, broken trust is not, not the end of the world. It's right. an opportunity for you to grow stronger and to forgive and become, yeah. become a better person through it. If if you protect yourself from broken from having your trust broken, yeah, you're just all the more vulnerable to broken mm -hmm. trust. You, it's like you're just weakening that muscle of being able to handle and deal with mm -hmm. what life will inevitably throw after at you, regardless. Yeah. So, you know, moving forward, yeah, I just like to say you know the the final point, and then I'll pass it on to. Right. So hang on to that thought. Yeah. Uh, so if you went through a breakup or you were disappointed in this person you had hopes and dreams for and they went and asked somebody else out or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be, the best thing you can do, go and do to get your snap out of that is to do the very thing you don't feel like doing. Mm -hmm. And that's to go out and make new friends. Mm -hmm. As you make new friends, new connections. Yeah. It'll fill that part of your heart mm -hmm. that that needs connection. Yes. And it'll help bring healing. Yes. And again, the very thing we don't feel like doing is often the thing we need to do in order to move forward out of a slump yeah. of disappointment. And that also assuming that you already have a relationship with God. You know, because you can't really feel the void in you that God needs to be or God needs to feel. But the connection part of it with a human being that's what Jesse was talking about. And so the other thing I would like to say is that if you're already taking that action, Jesse already mentioned that. Great job. Congratulations. Keep going. Don't give up now. Just know that if you are taking action and you are available, you will get the spouse of your dreams. And, you know, as Jesse was talking, I had the images of all of my girlfriends that are married now and back in the days when i was single we were all praying together for man for a man to rise up and start approaching and start taking action towards them and pursuing well interestingly enough i took action and i joined a fast track to marriage single to married class and that's where i've learned tools and i actually met jesse there other of my friends had to go and did their online dating. They put that profile out there. They were very descriptive. They did something. One woman, she even approached a guy to get to know him better as a friend. Now she's married to her hubby that they're just so lovey-dovey. I love it. And there's so many more. My friends, a lot of my single friends got married because they took some kind of action. And if you're already doing that, keep doing it. Don't give up. Don't give up because he might be just around the corner or she might be just around the corner. And know that you taking action, God can steer you much, much quicker. And don't depend on your feelings to make your decision. Yeah. If you wait for for feelings, emotions, and butterflies, and especially if you're in your upper twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, recognize that love is a decision, a choice, and a commitment. Mm -hmm. You ask yourself, or you need to ask yourself better questions. Yeah. Do you want to love this person? Mm 
Do mm -hmm. you want to be married to them? Mm -hmm. Ask the hard questions. If you don't feel it, but they look like they're a great fit, great father, I mean, just excellent person. They're checking all the boxes, but you're not feeling it. Guess what? You have to create that. Mm -hmm. Connection is created. Yes. And you'll discover that once you get married is that uh, connection is also maintained. Mm -hmm. If you don't maintain it, that's how people fall out of love, mm -hmm. if there is such a thing. Mm -hmm. So in the same way that love is maintained, it is also created to begin with. Mm -hmm. And the the instant attraction isn't an automatic for everyone. We've found it's 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 one way for some people and another way for others. Mm -hmm. For us, we had to kind of create it and it gradually grew on us mm -hmm. until all of a sudden I was like, wow, I want to marry this girl. Yeah, She's amazing. And, and as soon as I made that decision, you know what? I'm going to propose to her. And as soon as I made that decision, that's when I had the butterflies. Mm -hmm. Because I'll go, like, now it's real. Like, wow, I'm choosing to love this 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 woman. And come through no matter what. And mm -hmm. it, it, once I, I made that decision to where, like, I'm all in. Mm -hmm. That's where the love really started growing. And, and the connection started it, going to the next level. We choose it every day. Yeah, yeah. And, and and just going back to, you know, I believe in the prophetic gifting. So my pa my then pastor prophesied over me that he said he, he was in prayer for me, uh, for my wife. And uh, he said he here he just got one word, internet. Mm -hmm. and he says, not, he said, now that really stretches me because I wouldn't recommend that. But that's what I got for you, just the word internet. Mm -hmm. about a year later i started getting in a pretty serious communication with a girl from india and uh i had some missionary friends that i trusted and knew uh, uh, that knew her and her family personally and had been there and seen her and vouched for her integrity and her family is if this is legit it's not a scam uh, that uh, they have they know these people and so i'm like okay good and we were going back and forth and communicating and i was starting to make a uh, move to fly to India mm -hmm. with plans to be ready to propose, but I didn't move fast enough. And whether that was of the Lord or whether it was just my delay in act taking action, I don't know. I don't but know. what happened? Well, what do you mean by an, not an, fast? Another enough? another uh, or formerly Amish guy flew uh, that she was also in communication with. Guess what? She was applying the very things we teach. Is to to you don't connecting commit, with multiple connecting guys. with multiple people but not dating or being in a relationship with them until you propose mm -hmm. until there's until proposal is in place there in Indian culture it's you're not committed <laughs> to anyone until the till mm -hmm. the till the engagement and that's when they zero in on that one and only person well this other guy beat me to the punch flew to India proposed on the spot and a month later they got married. And I was devastated because I was like, that's the girl I wanted to marry. She was lovely. Or so, you know. And came through internet. Yeah. Like <laughs> fulfilled the prophetic word. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, oh. Plus, I'd always, I'd also have this a list of, I want somebody that's foreign, you know, exotic foreigner. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Idina is Russian. <laughs> oh interesting so and how did you meet me guess what on the internet right We're through fast wow. track to marriage single to married process we saw each other on video and uh from the point of first seeing each other on the video and realizing that we exist mm -hmm. uh six months later to the day we mm -hmm. got married yeah uh that was may 18th of 2020 and november 18th of 2020 we got married yeah but a lot of a lot of other significant dates in between that but there you go so i'm just telling you you get a word from the lord there's a lot of things that play into whether that'll play, uh, come through prophetic words are always dependent on the decisions and the choices and the free will of man yes. on both sides yes. and you, we just don't know everything so hold things loosely and keep moving forward mm -hmm. and taking action and investing and growing your your connection skills your confidence yes. in connecting with others uh, people of the opposite gender all without expectations, and we're not talking about kicking the tires on each other sexually and emotionally either. That's not what we're referring to. We're just mm. talking legitimately, just getting to know a person, no different from you know getting to know them in the checkout lane of a in the, in the supermarket. Yeah. All right. Well, we give you a lot of things here. We bless you. Thank you for coming and listening to this video, watching it, and um, let us know in the comments. Was this helpful? Did you enjoy it? 
Do you have any other questions that are comes from that or similar to that? Let us know so we can give you more. And uh, if you want to be part of our community, come. See, single to married, right, right there. And um, if you're already part of our community, you're already learning and growing. And that's great. And the link will be what? Below this video? Yeah. All right. Be blessed. We'll see you next time.